How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It is week 22 of 2023. Lots have happened in the Horizon 5 community this week. We're going to talk about it all. The latest tweets, the latest leaks. There's some new leaks this month. Just what's been going on. We're going to talk about it as usual. Let's jump into it. So we're going to start off over on Twitter. As per the Explore the Horizon update releasing last week, we have the full changelog and we also have the graphics that Playground Games create for us as well, showing the new features and the game fixes that are noted here. And along with that, we also have a graphic displaying the new cars as well. So if you're only interested in getting the new cars, here's what they all look like. Here's what they all are, including the dates that you can get them as well. It's always nice to see the graphics that playground games put effort into so there they are for the explore the horizon update now as usual over on twitter they identify new issues well they have identified a new issue where players might crash after receiving a dlc car as a gift they are tracking this over on the troubleshooting hub so if you've had this occur to you it is being worked on don't you worry Obviously, talking about the Explore the Horizon updates, we have the full change log, which shows all of the bug fixes, not just the notable ones, all of the bug fixes, which we're going to very quickly scroll through now. So if you're having any issues, if it's on here, it's been sorted. The general bug fixes are here. Now, one of them is called to see improvements made to boot up time on all platforms. That's quite a good one. I'm going to see if I can see any difference in that. We have the cars bug fixes here. There's only a few there one event lab bug fix and we have a few multiplayer bug fixes as well that is all of them apart from one there was one multiplayer bug fix that they really shed a lot of light on because it was such a big deal that they've got it sorted and it's this one right here fix an issue where weather management in multiplayer races where weather conditions in certain conditions were not consistent between players. Now, Torben on the live stream himself actually went into detail about this issue and just spoke a bit about it. I'm going to roll it now. Vote for your cars, vote for features, because all of that feeds back in and it helps us make these decisions for the things that you really want to see. As an example of this, there's some changes in this update that I want to speak about that are about multiplayer races, particularly in the competitive communities where players were seeing issues where weather would not be consistent across every player in a race, which obviously obviously is real bad for people who are in competitive races. Specifically, you might see things like, in some conditions, one player might have really wet weather, another player might have dried up and be driving in much more favourable driving conditions, which obviously impacts your ability to host endurance races and just broadly impacts the ability of the game to be a level playing field for the competitive community. And I am so happy that we, together with the competitive community, managed to identify what was actually causing this, because it was real spicy, uh, and bring that fix into Series 21. And just having the opportunity to work with the community to do that and identify things that really matter uh, really fulfilling and I'm, I'm happy we were able to do it eloquently put thank you so much Torben. we've got a sort of a script here basically basically what Torben said there um, now this is really good to see that the developers are really trying to work with us you know it's always good when you've got that player to develop a connection with whatever game you're playing and it's nice that playground games are really pushing down on this now the suggestions hub and the troubleshooting hub are playground games way of connecting with us as players to fix the game where possible just as this multiplayer bug fix um this chub the suggestions hub for adding stuff we want you know our direct route to the horizon 5 developers to fix issues everything like that is a troubleshooting hub and the suggestions hub and obviously torben is very happy they've managed to sort this weather issue thanks to the troubleshooting hub doing its job so it's great that we've now got this connection with developers let's keep making the most of it now uh, talking about the suggestions hub they tweeted slightly about it last week as well adding race routes in reverse is one of the top gameplay ideas in our suggestions hub category with 61 votes now not only is it good to see them once again shedding light on the suggestions hub which you should absolutely be using it kind of made me realize that we're still not got enough people using it because the top idea on the gameplay section has 61 votes 61 votes is not a lot 61 people is not a lot of people and if that is the top voted gameplay idea we really just need to be pushing lots of traffic oh, I'm pumping mic then lots of traffic to the suggestions hub you know we should be having ideas with thousands of votes because there's thousands of players if it's only a minority of players using the suggestions hub it's only a minority of players that are going to be happy with what we're getting added so yeah 
I know I talk about it a lot, but just go use the suggestions hub. They tweet about a few other things as well. There's always random stuff on the Forza Horizon Twitter, but as per the photo mode update that recently came out, they have been tweeting about that, tweeting some tips. Um, I always, if you've got Twitter, I do suggest following Forza on there because it's always handy to have if you are into Forza Horizon. If this video is helpful to you guys and you're enjoying it so far, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any news videos like this and you won't miss any of the leaks as well. We're going to talk about the leaks right now. Over on GT Planet, as usual, there are people over there that data mine all of the updates as they were released. Well, someone has data mined this latest update and found some new leaked car rims. He says, here are the pictures of new rims found in the files. These wheels did not exist yet in the game, at least by my own search. So if he is wrong, make sure to comment it down in the section below. But as far as he's aware, all of these are not in the game yet. And there are a total of 25 different rim options, as we can see right here. Now, there's some quite interesting looking rims there i specifically like the ones with sort of the disc pattern on them the donuts the splash the dino nugs some very random type of designed rims here dino nug rims how cool is that i can't help but wonder if the donuts one has anything to do with donut media i don't know but yeah 25 new rim options spotted within the latest update files if we have a look at the next update that's coming to horizon 5 which is going to be called upgrade heroes the next update june the 22nd it does say we're getting new rims very interesting so maybe these are 25 of the new rims that we're going to be getting in the next update it's certainly possible that is all of the leaks that were found within that within Explore the Horizon. Again, I need to remind you, just because these leaks have been found doesn't mean we're ever going to get these. We might only get some, we might get none. I just need to remind you guys of that. Now, the leaked car list is always something we go over after every update. Now, there were six new cars, I believe, in the latest update. None of them were on the leaked car list, so that's always refreshing to see. Six cars that we didn't expect. However, last week or the week before i think we had a cupra dark rebel concept leak or hint and although we didn't get that cupra dark rebel concept in the game we got two other cupras now the fact that we got two other new cupras in the latest update shows me that you know the relationship between forza and cupra is still there and it's quite a strong relationship now the hint that cupra gave us a couple of weeks ago about the dark rebel concept coming to the game has just become a little bit more credible because we've got even more cupras in the latest update do you see what i mean so the cupra dark rebel concept is definitely a possibility for a future update we'll have to wait and see as i said the all the four cars were not on this list so that was a very nice surprise that is everything we have to talk about today, guys. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all later.